Hi, Mike with Vanco here, and today's video I'll be walking you through the top 20 best marketing ideas for churches, so let's get into it. Now, if you're like most churches, you might be experiencing attendance decline, maybe less engagement at your church, and maybe you're also finding that your giving has been on a decline for many years. And if you're experiencing these, you aren't alone. This is a common occurrence for many churches these days. And so marketing is a key foundation to help you expand your membership to attract new members. And with the right tools in place, you can use this expansion to fuel giving to help you make a bigger impact in your community and across the world. And so with that said, let's dive into our top ideas for marketing your church effectively. And so the first idea is to set up a church website. This can really work as your marketing hub for your church. And so you want to make sure that your website is user friendly. Oftentimes people visiting a church website will see this as the first experience with your church when they're potentially researching new churches to attend. And so you want to make sure it's user friendly, professional, inviting, and has content that will attract people to visit your church in person. The second marketing idea is to optimize your website's SEO. And so SEO is search engine optimization. And what this means is that you have specific keywords that your website is optimized for. And these are different search terms that people are using to discover a new church they might wanna become a member at. And so you wanna highlight a variety of keywords list out the different services that you offer. So again, maybe it's regular Sunday service, maybe it's classes, or maybe it's youth group organizations, maybe it's volunteer work or charity work your church does. You wanna highlight these different things on your website and then optimize it with content that uses those keywords and doing so can help attract new members to your website. The third idea is to utilize local marketing strategies. And so this can be things like different meetup events. Maybe there's networking groups that you can attend. Potentially you might consider attending a chamber of commerce in your city. Maybe that's setting up booths at various local events in your area to get the word out. There's several different options, but networking locally is a great way to expand your reach and get the word out about your church. The fourth idea is to use Google Ads. And so Google Ads can work similarly to SEO in the sense that you can target relevant keywords that potential visitors and new members are searching for online. But this time, you don't have to wait for your website to organically rank for those keywords. You can pay per click and have your church website and your church ads show up for those specific keywords. So it's a great way to target potential new visitors by showcasing ads for your church on the most relevant keywords they're already searching for. The fifth marketing idea is to use YouTube to promote your church. And so YouTube has a great reach. It works similar to your website in the sense that it can benefit from SEO. And the ideal way to use it is to post value-based content that your ideal church visitors and new members would be interested in. So again, maybe it's posting things like sermons, maybe it's biblical tips, maybe it's inspirational messages to inspire them to action and to serve a greater purpose. The list can really go on and on, but YouTube is another great way to attract new visitors and to market your church. The sixth idea is to use social media marketing. And so social media marketing is a great way to tap into new visitors and new potential members locally, especially with things like Facebook groups. It even could help you expand your mission globally, depending on the type of group and how you're posting on social media. And so again, you can search for local faith-based groups Maybe you even decide to start one yourself. And again, you can post content there that's inspirational. Maybe it's clips of sermons. 
Maybe it's a podcast or an audio version, or maybe you're sharing blog posts from your website or highlighting great works that you're doing, like supporting local charities and mission works and much more. And so social media is a great place to attract new visitors, and it's definitely a marketing strategy you should implement. The seventh idea is to host church events and fundraisers. And so a great way to attract new members is through these types of events. These can be fun activities that your church puts on. On top of that, you can even do it in a way that it acts as a fundraiser to drive additional funds to increase giving and to help you make a greater impact. And so these are also great things that existing members can invite their friends and family or potential new members to and attract them to join your church as a full-time member. So definitely consider hosting church events as a great way to expand your church reach and accelerate growth. The eighth idea is to find volunteers to assist with marketing and advertising efforts right within your church membership. And so likely you have a wide variety of members that attend your church. You wanna tap into that audience and see if there's anyone that already has marketing skills and expertise that can help promote your church. This can be a great way for them to give back to your church community and also help expand your church and grow as a whole. The ninth idea is to host worship live streams or to post recorded versions of your sermons. And so this is a great way for attracting people that maybe can't attend your services in person. Again, this could be in your local area, getting people to watch and attend, or it could even be globally, really expanding your reach through the power of the internet. The 10th idea is to host a church blog. And so this can go right on your website like I talked about earlier. You can optimize these blog posts for specific keywords, having them benefit from SEO. And it's a great way to add more value to the community and to attract new members to your website and eventually to your church. Again, these can be inspirational, educational, and tap into different keywords that your ideal members would be using and searching for. Blogs are a great way to expand your reach, and it's something you should definitely include as part of your marketing strategy for your church. The next idea is to create a church podcast. And so if you're creating content already, like recording sermons or hosting video tips on YouTube, if you're writing blog posts, a way to repurpose that content is to turn it into a podcast. And so this is just an audio version of those different things. You showcase this and share this on a regular basis. And it's a great way for people to listen to your inspiring messages on the go. And again, it can attract new visitors and new members to your church. You can also include many advertisements, you might say, or calls to action, encouraging giving to your church to help expand your reach and make a greater impact. And these podcasts can work on autopilot to attract new members, increase giving, and to grow your church. The next idea is to host a church newsletter. And so you wanna stay in contact not only with your existing members, but also those new members that are first time visitors. And so you can offer a church newsletter that people can decide to sign up for. All you really need is a name and email address, and you can continue to market your church to new visitors and existing members on a regular basis. Again, these can list different activities that are going on, highlight volunteer opportunities, showcase the great work that you're doing. You also probably wanna include some type of inspiring message. And again, this can make people feel more connected. It can increase engagement, increase retention, and again, attract new members to your church. The next idea is to include welcome packets or to create welcome kits for new visitors. Again, you really wanna have a strategy to turn new visitors into long-term members of your church and making them feel welcome and included is the first step to that process. Especially if you're doing any of these marketing strategies to increase awareness and to increase your reach, 
You want to make sure new visitors that come to check out your church stick around. And so these welcome kits and welcome packets are a great step to do that. We even break down exactly how you can do that on our website. So definitely check the links below this video for more information on building welcome packets, welcome kits, and more. The next idea is to create a church hospitality ministry. And so this is a group of people that is specifically focused around church hospitality, welcoming people to the community, making sure people feel engaged, making sure people feel included and engaged. Again, this can help increase retention, but also transform new visitors into longtime members for your church. The next idea is to launch radio ads. And so radio ads are another potential way to attract new members to your church and to market your church. It can tap into your local area. And often when you do hyper-focused radio ads, they're less expensive than say a major national campaign. And so if you have extra budget, this could be another way to expand your reach in your local area. The next idea is to run Facebook ads. And so Facebook ads are a great way to reach your local market. You can even target people by zip code. And so if you really wanna get hyper-focused in your local area, you can advertise effectively on Facebook. It doesn't take a lot to reach a lot of people. You could have a very limited budget and reach thousands of people in your local area. And you could showcase, again, little video clips of value-based messages, inspirational messages, clips of your sermons and more. And you can even invite people to local events. So if you're holding those in-person event fundraising activities or just events in general, you can invite people to get tickets to those, to experience your church culture. You can invite them to watch online sermons or invite them to a church welcome event or an upcoming sermon. The list really goes on and on, but it's a great way to get exposure for your church locally. The next marketing idea is to promote your church in newspaper ads. And so again, with this, you likely want to target very local niche newspapers, as again, this can help you tap into your local market. It would be similar to the things you'd be promoting through Facebook ads. Certainly you can't post videos in the newspaper, but again, you could invite people to local events, invite them to check out a sermon in person and much more but local newspaper ads are another way that you can advertise your church. The next idea is to post signs about your church. Maybe they're bandit signs, those little signs that you see in yards. You can post those around the community if it's allowed in your community. And these are another great way to invite people to church events, just promote your church in general. Maybe it's an inspirational quote and an invite to come visit your church in person but this is another great strategy to attract new visitors to your church. The next idea is to use direct mail advertising. And so this is another great strategy to reach your local market as a whole. You can have different letters go out with inspirational messaging. Maybe it's a Bible quote. Again, maybe you're mailing out little Bibles or inviting people to visit a sermon in person. The list really can go on and on. This is a great way to reach the masses in your local area at a relatively low cost. The final idea is to hire a faith-based marketing agency. And so there are a variety of different agencies out there. Some of them might be just faith-based in general, but others might focus on specific denominations. But this is another option to tap into marketing experts that already understand your faith and can get the message out effectively about your church. But again, hopefully you enjoyed this list of the top 20 best marketing ideas for churches. If you did, be sure to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you'd like more resources and tips and training and guides on growing your church, increasing the giving and attracting new members and simplifying events management for your church, we have a lot of different resources in the description below this video you can access. And if you'd like to connect with our team to help you implement these strategies to increase church giving, attract new members and grow your church, there'll be links in the description below where you can connect with our team as well. 
And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new videos we put out to help you grow your church. But once again, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.